Hello there, Karan here, and we are going to discuss the test tray 3. And uh, I don't have any files in my system right now, so let me FTP some files from my phone. And yes, so I just need to see what was there in day 2. So the last file name was this. 2021 11 18 okay it's it's naming it as for the date so that's good for me because third third day of test was 19th and today's 20th so this is day four right now and i'm i'm editing the video for third day okay it's quite a tough day okay all these files are day three Go and drag and drop them here. Yeah, 19th, 19th, all of them. Good morning. So, today is the third day of test. The date is 19th of November 2021. And right now, I'm sitting like this. You can see in the mirror. What I'm trying to show you is uh, this is the exact angle where the mirror is looking right now so that means that light should reflect directly on the lens and you should be able to see in the camera so i'm going to start the system and we'll wait until it detects the sun and redirect the lights to uh, towards us and okay it is detecting sun and you can see now the moment is quite stable uh, slow and not rapid but also it easily detects the sunlight stable awesome and now i can see that light is falling on myself not able to see the camera because the light amount of light is too much but i think this is working let me know uh if i'm correct or not you must be able to see the sun in the center and yeah i will pause the video and then re-record yes so uh, now when i was i am back now when i was testing it uh, in other angles uh, it gave me an issue i need to think about how to fix that because right now this is the setup uh, which is detecting the difference between the light and because of these separators it was able to detect this position of sun but uh, the problem is that when it is not seeing the sun for example i will if you can see this arrow on the bottom which is telling us this one which is telling us the direction where it will reflect the light if i will redirect it to somewhere like this towards this water tank uh, then if i'll press the reset button You can see because of its own shadow, the light, the it, it is not able to see the light, the sunlight. And because of that, it will not be able to detect the sun. That's the problem. It should be able to detect the sun at all cases. And because of the shadow, the amount of light falling on each of the LDRs is same. Which I don't think is the truth. Uh, I need to check the software for that. And maybe I can fix that. But... Uh, this is the problem right now uh, the only issue that i uh, faced after uh, otherwise if i want to focus the light on let's say if i just keep this uh, you can see now the sunlight is falling on at least one of the, them then i will just press the reset button and it will redirect it will check the sun now can see it is doing its stuff and it's looking for the sun and yes the light is redirected to <coughs> here 
which is exactly the same point if you see in the arrow in the bottom you can see this small arrow it is falling exactly at the correct position this is the more light coming so yeah and i can also just pick it up put it uh, on the opposite side and now i want to redirect the light towards that wall and for that first thing is i need to adjust it and it is adjusted so how i'm adjusting it is according to the arrow and uh, the position of mirror doesn't matter much because it's going to reset itself and uh, yeah i will keep the uh, keep the mobile towards the wall so you will be able to see the result and i will press the reset button you can hear the beeps i think it is redirecting the sun right now look locating the sun and yeah you will hear four peeps when it's done and then you will be able to see the result on the wall awesome ah the angle is slightly downwards but it doesn't matter much and you can see it's doing its stuff so yeah i will let you know about the rest of the things so right now the time is 150 and i have updated the code uh last time it was where after detecting the sun it was uh, quickly moving towards the angle at which it wants to show the light on the target uh now it is going uh gently to the target that problem is fixed it's not now very uh, aggressive machine it's very smooth machine now and the other thing i want to check is whether i have added i have changed the sensitivity of it so whether it will keep jumping off or not so two things we will check first thing i am going to turn it on okay it's on now so it will it will start detecting the sun as you can see it's very gentle now it's trying to look for the sun and it's almost looking towards the sun if you you can also see the sun in the in the mirror and now you can see it's not jumping towards the goal it is slowly moving towards the thing and it slowly went towards the angle at which it wants to you can see the shadow of the, the phone uh okay no worries uh that is one test done let me set it up for the second test so this is the position where it is not able to see the sun properly uh, you can see the arrow is towards the water tank the light should fall on it and i am going to press the reset button so it will reset itself and you can see it's doing four beeps as normal and okay the second test is not successful as you can see because of the shadow of itself and the sun is at the back so it can't be able to detect that so it's just doing the stuff uh, according to the random calculation because the sun is not detected so i can't expect it to work uh, so one thing is uh, it it will not work unless things are in front of it so what i want to do is now i want to redirect uh, the light uh towards uh, let's say this here this brick yeah so the the arrow is uh, redirected towards the brick and almost the light is falling on this one i think uh, you can see a lot of sunlight there if you want to compare the sunlight falling on all of them i think you can see that 
now here and uh, okay now what is uh don't want to make the video long give me a minute let me reset it okay so home position is done and it should be slowly going towards the sun aha uh -huh. nope it's not it's doing the opposite okay so when the sun is out of the reach it will not be able to do the stuff that's normal that's normal every machine has its limitation i just wanted to check the limitations so now light will fall towards us towards the camera and give me a minute i'll take a tripod so i have set it up my phone stand and i will press the reset button and it must it must detect the sun now because the sun is in its range awesome ah it's doing the unstable stuff because i have changed the sensitivity but now it's pretty much stable after detecting the sun and locking its position it should redirect the light towards the camera now and so it's coming towards it and awesome thing the light is falling on the camera let me check from behind yeah it's almost falling on it if i move the camera right there you will be able to see sun i think in the mirror okay i'm going to pause it so right now the time is 2206 pm and I have changed the code I have written the same tolerance range and the accuracy is also the same now uh, because I have changed parameters those were not acting fine and I did not get the desired result so I kept it back and now uh, it's more stable than before so you can see it's looking for the home position right now so it should redirect the light towards that wall in front of us and yeah so on that wall the shared, uh, light should be so i'm going to turn it on so it's more gentle machine now looking towards the sun after looking at it it will it is locking the position now slowly it is going towards the target awesome and i will also i also want to show you that the arrow is right towards the target which is great it is acting fine and if i leave it it will keep uh, it will retain its uh, position throughout the day yeah that's pretty much all for today thank you so much i'm not going to record a time lapse today and yeah see you then bye bye So this is the time lapse that I recorded on day 3 and I kept it very fast and I started the test around uh, 2:50 I think let let me check once quickly and here I think I have files in ff output yes yeah, so the time is 7 oh the time is starting time is 14:30 so 2:30 pm i started and here 15:42 okay these are all are combined so two th around 2:30 i started and i stopped around around 17:15 means 5 uh, 5:15 i have start stopped that's the time i have 
recorded that time in three minutes. So you can see I kept a towel in front of my uh, project Heliostat and I just focused the light in the center and then I checked if it can keep uh, for the last three hours of sun I think in a day into the center of this towel and then whenever you see the light is not there it's moving it, the heliostat is just looking for the reconfiguring itself you can say it is just looking for the position of sun and uh, now it is uh, you can say most of the time it is already in the center which is quite nice if you have a window of this size then that means it is going to be it is going to be that and yeah so there it is and after that it will just be uh, focusing the light in the center throughout the day so what i will do is i will just press plus i will increase the speed it's already a time lapse then uh, if you can hear the beep uh, it's still today's day four of testing and the heliostat is uh, still working and it's under test conditions right now i'm testing it for the different parameters now uh, but let's talk about day three this video is about day three and yeah so you can see after reconfiguring itself now mostly it is remaining it's uh, the light is remaining in the center which is great which is great which is the entire purpose why we have done this project and uh, again uh, so I will start rec recording around 5.15 till then it will keep the light focused on the towel uh, because after 5.15 it I wanted to check the sunset uh, conditions that I have put into the software so yeah so after you will see the sun uh, last sunset detection yeah pretty much all thank you so right now the time is 5.15, 5.16 and the sun is already set or yeah. almost set. You can't see the sun in the sky. <clears throat> so it's almost set and I want to see what this will do if uh, there is no set sun. So right now the arrow is towards the camera and uh, i will press the reset button and then we will see okay it is showing the so indirectly we will see the maximum light source in the sky right now in the camera so it's right now looking at the horizon here there is maximum sunlight And yeah, you can see the belt, uh, the orange colored belt where from where the maximum sunlight is coming from. So it, last year when I tested this kind of thing, the system went crazy and it was doing uh, unexpected things. But now it is quite stable and quite uh, robust because I have added the sunset detection algorithm in this. I created one and then applied it and now right now as it is working fine I'm quite amused so yeah that's the update thank you so much we'll keep you updated